Okay, in this video, we're going to go through the vaulting and in the ledge climbing areas. So with that, just as an example for the vaulting, let's go ahead and play this. You can see right over here, I got some crates. So, and I can actually vault up on those crates. Now, as a default crate, you want about 65 units tall for the vaulting. Anything larger than that, uh, he's not going to be able to get up on. He would actually have to jump to get up on that. Now you could go through and look at the code for the vaulting and modify that. For our ledge jumping, ledge climbing, I just created a simple building here. It has some windows and areas that he could jump up on. Now what we need to do with this is actually go into the content browser actor classes and you'll find that he has added an adventure kit to the categories we got three different areas in here we got one for the actor balance we'll get into that later on the actor ledge and the tight space we'll get in tight space later on so we're going to use this spine actor ledge so with that selected I'm just going to right click where do I want to add that point I'm actually going to start back here at the back of the building right click add that spine actor ledge here and you can see what it gives us is a little actor out here let's pull them out just a little bit and it has bezier handles on it now the bezier handles is a way to allow you to create curves since I don't want any curves on this a couple of things I could do is I could rotate this 90 degrees let's go ahead and hold my alt key down I'm gonna click on the handle and drag it out so we get that second one what we also are looking for is this arrow and I'm just gonna bring this right over to this ledge or this edge of the wall. Let's make sure that everything's looking good. Okay, now I want to continue this all the way around my building where I would want him to be able to climb up on. So again, if I go and start stretching another one out here, notice it gives me some curves here. Well, I really don't want those curves. So I'm gonna hit F4, go on the properties. Under our spine actor, on the spine actor tangent x, he has it set to 300. Let's just take that down to zero. Let's come to the one previous, and let's take that down to zero. And basically what that is doing for us is going through and just straightening out those tangents. Okay, I'm going to pull these guys out so I can see that right there. Let's go ahead and grab this one and let's take him all the way down to the other edge have that out go ahead and hold my alt key down again click and drag out a new one so with that let's go ahead and test this out let's go ahead and play this and just come over and see if we can't jump up on this wall and grab that ledge so let's face it so sometimes it might building at the beginning there we go so now we got a hold of it we can slide across this wall here we can go around the corners when he gets to an open space right here you can see it changes that animation automatically so that's in the animation tree again we can go right around that corner and just continue on so now if I wanted him to jump up and grab that next ledge up there I would have to create that so again we don't want to just copy these we want to actually create new ones so again, just make sure that 
in your content browser, the actor class, you have that spine actor ledge selected. And let's create that next one coming right across the top here. So again, just right click, add that. I'm going to F4. I'm going to zero out the X on the spine tangents. Hold my Alt key down, click and drag. Let's go ahead and drag him out to the edge. Hold the Alt key down, click and drag. And let's just make sure that these are tight up against the building. We kind of want to see them. And let's click, and I'm just going to drag that guy just to the edge there. I'm not going to have him go past that point. And let's just keep on doing that until we're all the way up to the top. So I'm going to pause my video where we're going through and setting all of these up. Okay, now I've gone through, I've set all of them up. So let's go ahead and test this out again. So just coming through, let's go see if we can jump up, climb on this wall, and let's jump up to the next one all the way up to the top. Once you get to the top, he'll automatically jump up, and then you can also go back down. You can also hang off that ledge. So when you're going through and testing this, just make sure that he can actually jump up to that next ledge, that it's not too far away. He can also reach out, jump off, maybe jump over to another area. So, and that's just using the C key. So when you're jumping, just go ahead and use that C key to either let him down or when you're looking out. So you can see just going through, looking out, or I'm sorry, the D key depending on which way you're looking here. Jump up, D key, spacebar, jump, and let him go. So with that, that should take care of our vaulting. Remember the boxes or builder brushes, whatever you're using, anything that is 65 units tall, anywhere really between 55 and 65, you get 55 It'll look like he's floating up when he's climbing onto it until it settles down. So 65 units is about correct. Now also, when you're going through and doing the jumping, um, you want your character to move faster or slower. That is totally possible. So we could come in, go into the development, source, adventure kit, classes, and let's look at the pawn going all the way down to the bottom in the pawn all we got to do is look for the ledge climbing speed so we got the left the right and let's see where's our speed at here let's go ahead and find our speed so there's our character ledge climbing so the wall speed set to 70. If you want to increase that to make him go faster, that's fine. Especially on the no wall, kind of went slow. We can definitely increase those. Make sure you save it. Close UDK. Open it back up. It's going to ask you your scripts are outdated. Rebuild, yes. And then your character would be able to move faster. You can also do the trace height, the trace length, if you want higher jumps or things like that. So with that, we're going to bring this video to an end. And in our next one, we're going to get into the wall climbing. So we got a lot of different wall climbings. And we'll go through the different areas of the wall climbing. So see you in the next video.